Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a little bit of fun playing with a bunch of new makeup releases. I have a bunch of new fun goodies that I have been testing and I thought today we would just kind of slap some of these goodies on my face. I have the two new concealers. I have the Victoria Beckham the concealer that we're going to be using on one side of my face as well as the new Westman Atelier Vital Skin Care Concealer. So we're going to be doing a half and half using these two concealers. I also have some new Lisa Eldridge goodies. I did pick up some of her new liquid silk eyeshadows as well as the gorgeous Fawn Eye Palette. So we're going to be using those today as well. I've got the new Ravi Beauty. These are the Endless Diffusion Everyday Baked Blushes. So we're going to play with these. I have all three colors of those. I also have a bougie lipstick that I am obsessed with. This is from Hermes. I'll give you the lowdown on that. And then of course we are going to end with fragrance of the day and I have a couple fun new launches from Ormond Jane. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, learning a little bit more about these new launches and my thoughts on these, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we need to put makeup on this face and this is take two. I already filmed this video and then the files wouldn't upload. So I got a little frustrated and then decided that this is going to be an even better video this time around. I have so many fun goodies and I am going to start by prepping my lips with the Sarah Creel. This is her lip balm, which I freaking love. Like literally, this is such a good um, lip product. So I like to wear it on its own, but I've been gonna go ahead, put this on to prep my lips here. I have been loving her products, but for today, we are gonna be playing with the two concealers that just launched. We have the Victoria Beckham. This is her The Concealer. This is infused with the Augustinus Botter Skin Care. And this little guy is $68. And then we have the new Westman Atelier Vital Skin Care Concealer. This one is $48. and is also chock full of skincare benefits. And the Westman Atelier is going to come in a doe foot applicator here, just like that. Whereas the concealer from Victoria Beckham is going to come in 16 shades. And this one comes in the pen kind of clicking up, um, applicator. So those are going to be some of the differences. I have been playing with both of these concealers. I have some thoughts and I did end up using the shade finder on both of their websites for the Victoria Beckham, the concealer. I was matched to light one here. So this is, this is going to be L1. This is light with neutral undertones. And then in the Westman Atelier, I was actually matched to L3. And this one is light with golden undertones. So I feel like this may not be the best comparison here because as you can see, they are vastly different in undertones here. But for today's purposes, I thought what I would do is do 
half of my face with one of the concealer, the other on the other side, but yes, be due to the differences in color here, feel like you are going to, you know, maybe like one side better because maybe you prefer the neutral undertone or maybe you're going to prefer for the golden undertone here, you will see as this starts to dry down, they both sort of work for my skin. This one is clearly a little bit more leaning on the slightly uh, warmer side. This one I almost feel like it's almost cool to neutral in the Victoria Beckham. But you know what? We're just going to have a little bit of fun playing with these concealers. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually use the Sarah Creel. This is her Brilliant Repair Shield SPF. I have really been enjoying the combo of using this kind of golden toned SPF and then um, using concealers like her Flex Face. Um, I've been using the Westman Atelier. I've been using this, but I'm kind of using this as my base. And I did want to mention that, yes, I have already prepped my skin with my own SPF, which is a 50 and I use the Bloom Effects um, Do Skin SPF 50. So I do not count on this as my total SPF. I feel like this is a bonus. Okay, so wanted to mention anytime, like if I'm using this as makeup, I always end my skincare routine with my own, you know, personal SPF and then I will continue consider this more like a bonus SPF. Um, I don't necessarily use it as my SPF. And what I like to do is I like to take two fingers of this. It's such a beautiful kind of glowy base. I just love it. And then I'm going to come right in here and we're just going to put this on. And I know it'll look slightly dark when I first put this on, but it just gives me a really nice, healthy glow. This has kind of been my go-to foundation combo, so don't be scared if you're like, whoop, she looks a little oompa loompa. It is going to kind of dissipate, and that's where the concealers come in and work their magic. So I like to take a minute here to kind of Bring this down my neck, make sure everything is connected. Okay, I just love this product so much to give me this sort of healthy glow. And again, I feel like this product actually kind of works with your skin tone. Um, it's literally going to kind of sink in. It's not going to look um, too dark. Give it a couple minutes. And then what I've been doing is coming in with one of these three products. I love her face flex right here. Actually, we'll take a little swatch of this as well because this is shade three. And again, that's kind of a light width. Um, neutral undertones as well. So this is Face Flex 3. This is Victoria Beckham. That is L1. And then I have L3 in the um, Westman Atelier. And see, as this dries down, you can see this one is starting to mesh and look a little bit like more like my skin tone. So I'm going to put my Victoria Beckham on this side of my face my Westman Atelier on the other. Now there is a big price difference between the two concealers. I do have to tell you, I have been playing with both of these and I do like both of them. So I kind of feel like um, I want to see which side you prefer. Again, it might be like you like one of the tones a little bit better than the other. But what I'm going to do is let's go ahead. I'm going to do a little X over here. And some people love these pen applicators. Others can't stand them. So right there, that could 
um, knock one or the other out. Again, they both are infused with skin care. And I'm just gonna kind of come up on the side of the nose. I'm using this as concealer and my foundation today. And I'm gonna make sure I use about the same amount here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and buff this into the skin on this side. We're gonna do half and half. Kind of let you see both of these. Okay, this is the Victoria Beckham side over here. Then we'll come in with the Westman Atelier. Again, this one has a slight golden undertone, so it's going to look a little bit different. So this one is a little lighter, and I personally think that the Westman Atelier has a bit more coverage. They are both described as light to medium concealers um, that can be built up. So I just have found that the Westman Atelier to me seems to have a bit more coverage, but again, it also could be this tone. So Put that in consideration. I will do a full video just using them, you know, independently by themselves. But I am playing catch up. I have so many fun goodies here that I was like, we're just going to cram these into one video because um, I just have been having a lot of fun playing with this combo. Okay, here's the Westman Atelier A side over here. Still feel like I am getting a nice little glow with this concealer. And then we have the Victoria Beckham as well. And again, I'm still getting a nice glow from both sides here. I do personally feel like I get a little bit more coverage from the Westman Atelier A, but I could completely come in with a little more of the concealer over here if I wanted to. For today's purposes, I'm going to kind of leave this here. What I will tell you is that I really love the way that these wear. Um, they are going to both mesh into my skin um, and it just wears really beautifully. I find that they have a lot of longevity, but I just feel like my skin looks like skin. I definitely feel like it has blurred my imperfections on my skin. Um, I do find that the Victoria Beckham to me looks um, a tad bit more skin-like to me versus my Westman Atelier. You can definitely, um, it can get a little makeup-y if you put too much on. So kind of probably the difference between the doe foot applicator versus the pen. So again, they're kind of two different animals, but kind of like, you know, both skincare infused. Gucci Westman has included her skincare in her concealer. And the, then we've got the Augustinus Botter in the Victoria Beckham. So that's what I would say if you are a Augustinus Botter fan or a VB fan. I feel like you may like this. If you like a click pen, then I feel like you may enjoy the Victoria Beckham. I've actually been liking both of these. I've been having a hard time determining which one I like better. As these are drying down on my skin, you're going to see it's not as big of a difference over here as when I first put this on. So again, Victoria Beckham L1, Westman Atelier L3, and then the Face Flex in shade 3. These all completely work for my skin tone. And if you're new to my channel, I consider my skin to be light with a slight warm 
undertone and a cool overtone. So you will see I've got some rosiness on my cheeks. And I often go with foundations with a slight cool undertone because I feel like they give my skin a bit of life or maybe even a slight warm undertone. Neutral sometimes can pull a little gray out of my skin. So as you know, I like to overthink foundation shades, but these all three seem to be working for me. And while we let this sort of, you know, melt into the skin, kind of sink in, I think we'll move on to eyes. Okay, I did pick up two of the new Lisa Eldridge Liquid Silk Eyeshadows, and these also are infused with skin care, so it is going to kind of smooth your eyes. They feel fabulous. I picked up two colors here. Right over here is Irene, and this is a light, neutral, peachy beige, perfect one and done eye. Absolutely love that one. And then my favorite one is right here. This is Phoebe, and this is a warm, light camel. And basically, I love the name Phoebe. I almost named my daughter Phoebe. Um, she's Zoe, but I love, love, love that name. I'm hoping one day to have a little grandchild named Phoebe. Just gonna go ahead, put it out there. That's how much I love that name. And for today's purposes, I think we will use Phoebe because I'm gonna be using this gorgeous palette from Lisa Eldridge. This is her Fawn palette. And I have to tell you, um, I sort of picked this up because I really loved this color in Upper West Side here. Up above here is this beautiful burnt clove. It's so gorgeous. We've got Debutante here that's kind of a pretty kind of luster shade. It's kind of this rose gold. It's super pretty, but I love over here, like the highlight of the show here is this white tie. Um, literally, it has this sort of creamy, beautiful um, texture to it. It is truly like fabulous. It's going to pop any eye look. And then I love this one over here too. I believe this is called a velvet shade. And that one is in Dorian. Actually, it's a luster shade. And it's so gorgeous on the eyes. Let me give you a full swatch of this palette. But um, it has definitely interesting sort of um, formulas in it. It's got this luster in here and then this luminous. This is white tie. This is Dorian. So stunning. Then we have got a seamless matte shade here. This one is super naturally. Really gorgeous color there. And then we've got this gorgeous kind of satin duo shade that's sort of a pinky peach color. It is really pretty. And then we've got my favorite shade here, Upper West Side. This is just like the perfect soft brown color. And this is in a velvet texture. And then another seamless matte, matte in burnt clove. And this palette includes different sort of textures and formulas. It is actually really versatile. You can create like a really pretty warm everyday eye. We're going to do that and then we're going to glam it up with a few of these beautiful kind of luster and um, topper shades here. So this is her palette in Fawn. So I'm going to start with her liquid silk eye shadow here and I am going to be using Phoebe, this kind of perfect light camel and honestly this can be your one and done shade. I like to use this and then come in with that burnt clover as my liner. So I'm going to show you how you can do kind of an everyday look using these. And what I'm going to do is come in and you can use your fingers or a brush 
to spread these out, but I will tell you the formula feels fabulous, especially on more mature eyes here. And because I tend to make a little mess using my fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little brush here. And I'm just gonna spread that shadow where I want it. And it makes it just like the perfect one and done look on the eyes. It uh, dries down to sort of a soft matte shade and these do dry down pretty quickly so you kind of want to get them where you want it. I feel like they just give your eyes just that little bit of depth. I feel like they're so forgiving on more mature eyes. That's what I would say. I have just been loving this formula. So I just bought two to start because I wanted to see what I thought because in general I'm not always the biggest fan of these kind of liquid eyeshadows, but I think it might be because I get my little fingers going and make kind of a mess of them. And maybe it's also because a lot of those are more shimmery and I'm finding kind of this soft kind of matte look. Um, it actually has some sort of ingredient that sort of smooths the eyelids in here and I honestly have to say I think that is true. I feel like it just leaves such a pretty finish on my more mature eyes. Okay, this is Phoebe, your perfect light camel. And then what I have been doing is coming in to this burnt clove and taking the other side. I'm actually using Rowan Everything Eye Brush here. And I'm just dipping it into this side right here. And then what I like to do, this is sort of my everyday easy eye, is I'll come in with this clove near my lash line. And then I've kind of got this like perfect, easy, smoky eye. We're gonna add my favorite shade in too. I really love that upper west side. So this is just one and done liquid silk, a little bit of burnt clove. And if you're not going to be getting the palette, you obviously can use whatever dark powder shadow you want or just your favorite eyeliner. But these are so good. Okay, easy one and done eyeshadow. Then I wanna come into my favorite color here. This is Upper West Side and it is a velvet finish and it is the perfect crease color. I just love to kind of create a soft smoky eye here. I'm just going in with that soft brown shade. Literally, it just creates perfect everyday kind of smoky eye look or I think this is perfect for fall as well. I love that color and then what I'm doing is I'm going to come into this shade here super naturally and a little bit of this um, upper west side and line the bottom part. Just kind of tying everything together. Okay, this is what I've created. Sort of a beautiful, soft, everyday matte look. And I'm tempted to go put mascara on so you could kind of see that as like an everyday eye look. And then we could come back in and I could glam it up with these two kind of luster shades. I think I will do that so you can kind of see your everyday matte eye look versus, you know, how you can kind of glam up your eye as well. So I will be right back. Just going to quickly clean up my brows, put on mascara, and then we'll have a little bit more fun with the palette. Okay, we have eyeballs on. 
and I went ahead, put mascara, cleaned up my brows. This would be considered like my everyday eye look, but for fun, we are going to go ahead. I want to show you how freaking gorgeous that is. Actually, I'm going to show you these two right here because they have like this awesome texture to them. So this one even has like a little luster in here. Um, it's so pretty. Like you're just going to put this on and have like a really deep smoky eye. And then I'll pop on some of the white tie because it's like such a pretty uh, kind of glam little topper. So I'm just going to come over here and we're going to put in some of that What's that shade called? Uh, Dorian, which is a luster shade. And it is going to give me immediate smoky eye vibes here, but in a good way. It's such a good color. And again, I'm just using my finger. I just kind of wanted to show you. See how deep, rich, and pigmented that is? I'm going to just use my finger here. And I will blend that out with a brush but this is kind of like one and done smoky little eye over here Ooh, see that I know looks a little smudgy but that's what I'm saying this is like good it's like that kind of lived in smudgy smoky eye look let me blend that out I'm laughing I'm a total mess over here on my desk. I've got to get a little bit more organized here, but I am taking that and I'm just kind of blending that in. I really like this color. I think it's kind of impactful here and just kind of blending that all out. I normally don't kind of apply eyeshadow once I have my mascara on so it kind of feels a little funny but I wanted you to kind of see how we could build on to this and then we're coming into like my surprise hit here this this little white tie ooh, is so pretty and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to that inner corner like look at that it's like a wowser color but I come in like this and we're going to lighten up over this dark here. And don't worry, I'm going to blend everything. But this is your like pop shade. And I want to kind of get it in that inner corner here. Kind of coming right over here. Lightening this on my lid. Can you see that? It's a really pretty pop color but it works seamlessly with the overall look here I feel like it just lightens up I still feel like I could wear this during the day is what I'm saying even with that white tie you could totally glam this look up and I'm kind of keeping that shade towards the inner eye here so this is what I've created kind of playing around with the fawn palette okay then let's go ahead and finish off my face i am going to um put some powder on with the new cloud set setting powder um and this one is in candy i personally love using a sort of pink tone powder um to brighten up the skin always love that and i am a fan of kosis so i was a little bit excited and this is promising to give you angel skin so we are going to go ahead set everything with this candy powder here and i'm just going to Take the little brush here and go ahead and set everything before we move on to some fun blushes. Okay, here is this Kosas powder. Do I have angel-like skin yet? 
I'm not sure, but I definitely like the way that feels on the skin. Very light, finely milled, um, definitely seeing a little bit of brightness. What I do like is on both sides of my skin, I'm still getting to see, you know, a little glow peeking through so it doesn't kind of give you that flat kind of matte look. Um, it feels like nothing. It feels like spun, finely milled powder. So kind of excited about this. One thing is I don't typically like to put powder underneath my eyes as somebody with more mature skin. Um, but I have been playing with this and I have to say it does not like dry up or make me have creasing under my eyes at all. I'm not somebody who likes to bake or anything like that. I am a little bit older. <laughs> oh, the thought of putting so much powder underneath my eyes scares me, but um, that is what this looks like. And then another little PR package that I got what I was so excited about was I got the Raw V. These are the Endless Diffusion Everyday Baked Blushes. Number one, I love Allie. I think she is amazing. And I was really excited to receive this along with her blush brush. And I don't know about you all, but I love a little baked blush because they incorporate all the different shades. Do you know what I mean? Like they are able to kind of not just be one shade. So I have all three colors of these baked blushes. And these are in these cream to powder formulations. This is described as a beautiful peachy pink shade. This is Daydream. This is Daydream. Next, we have Paradise, and this is a toasted pink. So a little bit of more warmth coming in here. Ooh, so pretty. Right here. This is Paradise Toasted Pink. Love that. And then last but not least, we've got this gorgeous Oasis. And this is in this like deep raspberry pink. Whoa, so pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, all three shades are freaking gorgeous. This is going to be hard. What do we want to put on today? Um, okay, I just randomly picked up Paradise, the toasted pink. This one looks really gorgeous. And let's go ahead, put some of this on my cheeks. Ooh, okay. I love a good baked blush. These are reminding me of Hourglass. Um, blushes, how they have kind of a mix of colors in them. So pretty. And again, this is like a cream to powder formula. So you get the kind of lovely creaminess of those cream blushes, but the longevity of a powder blush. Let's give my skin a little life, adding in a little bit of color here. Okay. This is paradise. That is really pretty. Just to show you, we're gonna go ahead, put on a little daydream, just kind of in the apples of the cheek on this side. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like this one. And I love this little berry pop. Okay, I'm gonna put that on the other side. I'll even everything out, but just to kind of Ooh, show you a little bit of color here. I even love that. We're just going with all out. We're going to put all three of them all on my face, even everything out here. Okay, this was kind of a fun little launch and it seems to be blush season. It seems to be powder season. And I'm so proud of her. It's kind of been fun to see her launch her own products. So definitely would recommend checking out those blushes because I think they are really pretty. I can't wait to play with them a bit more. And but then to kind of 
finish off the overall look. What I have been doing lately, I've been using this Giorgio Armani. I have this kind of glow powder in shade 6.5. It's not just kind of a light tan color like as we are transitioning I still want to have a little bit of warmth to the face but not too much. I've been using this sort of as my glow maker where I just kind of slightly put a little bit of this all over my face. So I'm going to quickly do that just to tie everything together before we come to my favorite lip product. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and just kind of dab that up first put it on as if I'm putting on some bronzer here and it just gives me a slight little glow not too much of a bronze but I've been using this little powder as my finishing powder so Okay, then I have a little bougie lipstick that I am a wee bit obsessed with. This is from Hermes. Beautiful little case here. And I have completely fallen in love with this beige glossé. This is in their shiny formula. So... This is what it looks like here in the case. And I know I'm going to be aging myself by sharing this with you, but I want to say this would be kind of in the late 80s, 90s. There was this lipstick that I loved. I still remember where I bought it and everything. And it was from NARS. It was called Viva Las Vegas. They, of course, have discontinued this. But I swear, it was similar to this shade. It was sort of a beige sandy color but it had some oomph to it the swatch on my hand is not going to do this justice um this is just so pretty on the lips it's got like a little bit of gold almost like a little bit of a pink gold tone to it and it is just like perfection in my eyes and this reminds me of the viva las vegas i did pair it with some nars lip liner i cannot recall the name but it was like the perfect combo what is hilarious is that i remember buying it at Saks um in new orleans at the canal place Saks. Uh, i remember getting like a little mini makeover from nars that was the lip combo that they used and i literally used up a whole tube and was so and was so sad when they discontinued that shade. So let me show you this because I literally might even buy a backup of this. That's how much I love this. Isn't it pretty? This is the shade Beige Glacé. And literally for myself, this is a little magical on the lips because I feel like it doesn't wash me out despite it being kind of a lighter toned lipstick. Um, this formula is amazing. I actually really love the Hermes lip formulas. Of course, the packaging is just absolutely adorable. This is um, an expensive bougie lipstick. I get it, it is a splurge, but if it's a lippy that I'm gonna wear all the time, then I do not mind spending the money. And this just feels really good. It kind of fills in all of my little wrinkles and everything. I just love this color so much. And again, you can pair this with your favorite lip liner. I have just been wearing it just like this. So I find, so I have finally found a little dupe for my 
Viva Las Vegas. Let me know if anybody remembers that one. I just loved it so much. And again, it was like almost identical to this. Just a really pretty kind of soft beige color, but it's got a little bit of oomph to it. I don't know exactly. It just sort of works. So absolutely love this lippy from Hermes. And then we are going to end with fragrance of the day. And I have two fragrances from Ormond Jane, the travel sizes. I have cashmere. Um, if you're somebody who likes Gris Charnel from BDK, you're gonna love this one. I'm gonna do a whole fragrance review. Um, so we'll save that for later. But then I picked up Bukhara and oh, you guys, this is a stunning perfume. I'm a little bit obsessed with it. This is a kind of sophisticated, elegant, fruity floral. This has this luscious peach note in here as well as black current. And let me go ahead, spray some of these, oh, spray some of this on. Oh, this is one of these that literally like makes my eyeballs roll back in its head. Like I had that kind of reaction when I smelled it. It is so gorgeous. I'm gonna quickly share the notes with you. In the head, you're going to open up with bergamot, peach, and black currant. It is really a lovely combination. That combination is sort of luscious. It almost makes it feel like a little exotic. I seriously love it and it is not sickly sweet so don't worry about that. And then in the heart some florals are going to come in here. It does have tuberose in here, orange blossom, and jasmine sambac. And if you're somebody who stays away from tuberose, since I wouldn't knock this one out because this one is just blended so beautifully. I definitely am smelling a hint of that tuberose. But then in the soul of this fragrance, you've got creamy sandalwood, white cedar wood, vanilla, a touch of oud and dry amber. So if you can kind of imagine there's this like ambery warmth to this fragrance that is going to tone down any of those florals. Like So this fragrance is definitely more like a sensual, slightly exotic, kind of exquisite, fruity floral. And I've just been a bit obsessed with this. I feel like it is perfect for this little transitional period as we're coming into fall. I will wear a fruity floral year round, but um, this is sort of like the end of the season scent. I just kind of love it. Whereas the cashmere has got that kind of spicy, warm feeling that I feel like is gonna shine when the weather gets a bit cooler. So I will be doing a full review on both of these for Mom Jane fragrances but thought I would end the day with the gorgeous Bukhara. So this is my final look of the day, playing with all sorts of new fun goodies. We'll come in real close and see which side we like better. This is the Westman Atelier Concealer. This is the Victoria Beckham Concealer. And to be honest, I think they both look pretty darn good. So you all let me know which side you like better. Have you tried these concealers? I will be doing like individual reviews for both of those concealers, but today I just wanted to get on, catch up, have a little fun playing with some of these new goodies. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another one soon.